harsh these feelings yeah. when I smashed it through this world champion man. Yeah. Oh god, was that great. I enjoyed the hell out of that. This feels like, mmm, <laughs> yum. <laughs>
no, it's no, not. It's, no, but it, no. It, it, it's stronger. And I think table tennis helped helped that. The, the movements, yeah, the movements with table tennis, the way I move in table tennis strengthens my knee. Really? But I, I did lose it, like, during one tournament. I think I was playing Ken Hoover, somebody, you know, I twisted it and I, like, finished the rest. I was, like, playing on one leg. On one leg. <laughs> it might have been Alex, I don't know. Yeah, in table tennis, that's, like, slow death. Playing one leg. I'm just kind of like that, you know. Just, so, okay, I'll finish this out, you know. <laughs> So your knee, then, uh, you don't think the knee ever came back to what it originally was before the football accident? The best, the best you could say. Yeah, it can go out. You know, if I do something, say, if I like step in the hole or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Or, uh, that, that's what happened when I was playing football. I stepped in the hole and it just kind of went sideways. Oh my God. It's like, and it, well, that happened to both. Both knees. Yeah. So you think? I've had them both operate. Yeah. They seem to be pretty strong, you know? but I just, I just can't do a lot of things. So you think that maybe what they're like eighty percent of what they were originally? Strength, I mean. Um, I don't know what happened. I didn't seem to have any problems. I don't know. I'm like it depends on what angle it is, you know. Right. Right.
sometimes it's important to even even if you don't think go try for it so you kind of build up those muscles too or some, or, but first, or even let the opponent know you're not going to just give up when they do that too right but the, but first i guess the smart thing would be to have an mri and see what the orthopad says you know okay. so how does it yeah. look because i noticed that now it's thinner here it's narrower here yeah. here it's like i lost some ligaments or something yeah. it's kind of like you know like when you kind of suck your cheeks you know uh -huh. kind of like that it's kind of sucked in a little bit by my area by my knee so something's not the same obviously mm -hmm. serious he'd be yeah. sweating bullets yeah i remember that that was hilarious it was actually. i felt he almost felt sorry for rudy yeah yeah right. he's working so hard you know 
Courtney, and Courtney's just really loose, you know, he's coming up with all kinds of shit. Yeah, he was. Seen before. He was very, very loose, very smooth. Uh-huh. Did you ever play uh, Dr. Lee's friend, Luck? Yeah, yeah. yeah he, talked, he, was, he always talked good about my game, too. He'd be, you know, building up to hate the... Uh, he does be like this. Yeah, yeah. Or something, but it's like, Lock, how'd you do? And he'd be like this. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like to say animations. <laughs> he would shake his head like yeah. this. He's just really slow, but he's he's got a lot behind what he says. And, uh, yeah. He really analyzes things. Yeah. He, he's relaxed too, I think. He was a solid 2250, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes, yeah. And I think he also was real good at the uh, heart band too. He was always playing oh, that and talks about how good he was and how he was. Now, have you seen uh, Turberville when you know when he's become like a 1900 plus yeah. heart actually, band player? Yeah. Have you? Yeah. I actually beat him uh, in a Bud Light uh, tournament in heart band while well, I was playing heart band. When? In uh, Tucson in uh, 2008 or nine before the event, but it was just like like a seven point game and we're in a bar and he didn't want any beer so I, in I, a bar I, yeah, and I gave him a couple of beers Bef- before we played and I just kind of got lucky I guess you know and the light was really really screwed up and I was kind of loose for that game well what was his rating was like at a, the time it was I think 19 you know 100 with a hard bet it was already 19 I, I think so okay. yeah and, and Jim was really and, surprised to hear that I had beat him because it was like a tryout to go to Vegas mm-hmm. for this Bud Light tournament. Have you seen the ad for that? Seen I that haven't. Tournament? Okay, I yeah. haven't. You, you'll love it here. I'm going to show it to you. Or you can... Uh, I can but it... Uh, I was like the, the... It was like a Bud Light super teaser and I was kind of the super guy on it or whatever. I was, like, I was like the big punchline for their uh, thing and the uh, interviewers really loved me. They kept it all oh, loved me. But but they just put in like, like a couple of clips. I was dressed up as this uh, boner man or whatever, like a super, boner man. It was like a super. Well, I just got that name when I went down to the t- tournament in uh, Tucson. Super played bon- played to Turberville. I had like a you know a cup that was kind of upside down, looked like a big boner or whatever. Oh my god! And I had tights on and a cape. You oh, know, you're and kidding. A, and uh, and uh, the uh, little you know uh, <laughs> eye things or whatever. You know. a boner man. And and Wait, some guys when I was going to the. Uh, and everybody was pointing at it and, and stuff. <laughs> when I went to the restroom, some guys was like, "Oh, boner man!" And so I went with it. And so, like when I was playing as the, you should have gone like this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when I went, when I went to the event, uh, uh, oh yeah, they, uh, they had me, you know, like point at it and stuff. <laughs> Now wait, now how many now how many games did you play, Jay? Just one? I said it was just like one seven, seven point. point game. I think. That's it. So that, I think that's winner it, takes it, all. It, it might have been more than that. It, it was just you know you get eliminated or something. Played. I don't know if it was more at the end, but I I think I bet you know beat them in an early round or something like now, that. Did you just happen to play extra good? Was Jay a little nervous? Was it the beer? Was it a combination? What was it? How did you get him? I think, you know, there weren't that many points, and I was, I, maybe I played pretty good, he was, you know, and the light was pretty bad, or whatever. Seven points, anything can happen almost, but I... Well, I mean, you had to be at least a certain level yeah. at heart, man. You, you, you were, you were, I mean, you were pretty good at it? At After I get warmed up in hard bed, I can kind of play it. Okay. Um, and maybe it was, we kind of both warmed up when we got there, so I was a little warmed up. I think I would have done better at that hard bat tournament too if I would have had a little more time to warm up. But that were like they, they were interviewing me, and then also I had uh, what was it? Uh, it was supposed to be or uh, played that, uh, that Korean girl that Su Young. Have you seen her? I don't think I've seen her. She was in the mirror. But it was like a it was a um, handicap tournament when you got there. So they had they had uh, four different groups, and they had like uh, professionals. Uh, they had like a invited people, then they had the bar players, and then they had, uh, uh, I forgot what the other one was, but yeah, what they had, it was kind of interesting they, uh, the, the way they set it up, but I think I was in the, this one professional group or whatever, uh, 
and the, yeah, the people who won the the bar events that got into something. That Freddie Gabriel ended up turning up to the uh, in Tucson to qualify for this tournament. So they would like send you there and pay for a nice hotel. And Freddie Gabriel, he was a good player, right? And he's a good, he's a top hard bat player. Was he? Yeah. Uh, the, do you remember? Uh, I remember. I, I would play back in the '90s. The Schomburg Club, the tournaments. They had a handicap event, which wasn't sanctioned. Obviously, it didn't come for points. Uh -huh. But there was a a table where, if the player was so many points above you, uh -huh. you would you would play the 51, uh -huh. and you would get so many points. Right. Do, you, do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. That's the first time I played Mark, and I beat him. I had like 36 points. I would. I would always do really well in the handicap event in, in the Schaumburg tournaments against whether it was higher or lower, but I would always do well because there was different psychology, different strategy if you were the higher or the lower player. And I was really good at adapting. Uh, if you had to give away, let's say, like 40 points or whatever, yeah. or 43, uh -huh. I wouldn't panic. Uh -huh. The secret was like, if you have to give away that many points, uh -huh. don't rush yeah. and don't don't panic because it's only worse. Mm -hmm. Just basically play very consistent and wait until the other player makes the mistake. Mm -hmm. Don't go for too much, but don't baby it either. <laughs> so you have to do a balancing act. And then if the other player happens to like get lucky, uh -huh. you still have to keep your cool. Yeah. You can't panic. Because I would see a lot of times where the lower player might get lucky and then the higher player, you could see, you could see he would just start to lose it and maybe become impatient or worried, and then that was it. The, the funny thing when I was playing in that when I ended up going to Vegas, it was run by Killer Spin. It was like a hundred thousand dollar tournament. Really? And people were dumping a lot of points just to get you know a lower rating so they get some more points for the. Are you sure it was a hundred thousand dollar tournament? Yeah, yeah, it was a hundred thousand dollar. How did how did they spread out the money? The first player got a hundred thousand. What? Yeah. Just one person got the hundred thousand dollar uh, prize. Really? Yeah. So. When was this? This was in two thousand and nine. Uh, they didn't repeat that though, did they? No, they were going to, and like I said, the year after, everybody's like dumping points on purpose so they could play in this tournament and get a, you know, good rating, uh, lower rating, and you know, get the get the get what the hundred thousand dollar prize. But wait a minute, the hundred thousand was for the open, right? No, every, like I said, they had four groups. Yeah. And the, 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 if you had a rating already, you were in this professional group, and then you were given uh, handicap points for the tournament. So if like, you mean you could win the prize with a handicap, uh, in other words, you'd be playing for the prize with a handicap. Right. For the top prize. Right. No. Yeah. What year is this? Two thousand and nine. Okay. This was run by Killer Spin and Bud Weiser, Bud Light. Oh, I wasn't it was around. Like a, it was like a Bud Light tournament. I wasn't around. And then they they were actually supposed to show it right after the Super Bowl, um, the the film. Or, so I guess not so many people saw it because they something else preempted. I don't know some kind of tragedy or something happened around then, so they ended up showing it later. So it didn't get quite as much of a now, audience now, as. Now wait a minute now. But were they playing according to the 51-point system, or...? No, this was like a 21-point game you with, the, with the, you know, the regular, a small ball. I think it might have been a regular ball. I think it, I think it was a regular ball. And they you played with their hard bats. And you'd get so many points. You could buy like a better hard bat, or you could play with the, you right. know, a cheaper one they gave you. Yeah. And you'd get so many points uh, towards 21. Right, so you get, you know, the 8 points. It was a table. Points. It was huh? a table. Right. Yeah, they have that same same table that they have for the handicap in 21. Who won the uh, hundred thousand? It was a Jack Baker. He's like a tennis player. He's like a you know kind of medium level tennis player. Who won it? Well, that's what was his rating? Is that he didn't have a rating? I mean, what I meant was was he a tournament pick 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 table tennis player? No, he wasn't. That's a, that was one nice thing. They got a bunch of other people involved in the game. Well, why did he win? I mean, what did he do to win? He's kind of consistent and uh, he had a high rating. I, he played for the fun. They had. Uh, Didn't you say he was just a tennis player, though? Right. I think he played. Uh, what's his name for the final? Was or I think I lost it. Uh, what's his name? Trevor Runyon was in one of the finalists. There's another guy who 
played back in the 50s. He was, he was real popular. He, uh, Marty Friesman. No, no, he was, uh, uh, what was his name? Everybody loved him. Dude. Wayne, he had, uh, what do you call those, uh, suspenders on. You know, he's some little guy in suspenders and socks the, or something. He used to play in the 50s? He wasn't that great or anything back then. He was, you know, maybe a... Or consistent, maybe I would guess. Okay, but the guy that won, who you said was a tennis player, right? What would you say? He doesn't have, he didn't have an actual USAT rating, uh -huh. but more or less, what level would you have put him at? He was very consistent, and the hardback kind of gives him an advantage, and like a lot of chopping and stuff, and maybe something like play tennis. I don't know, eighteen. How could he be so good if he was a tennis player? He, he wasn't really a table tennis player. How could he be playing like at an 18 or 